Hey everyone, it's Judy, the Body Confidence Coach, author of the little book of Body Confidence and creator of the Body Confidence Journey, the coaching program for women who want to stop chasing the perfect body and embrace the one that they are in. And today is Body Confident Friday. So welcome to the show. Now today I want to talk about how you can know when you might need a little bit of help with your body image. Because when I first speak to a woman about working with me, she has often put off seeking support because she just doesn't think that her body image is bad enough. And this is no surprise to me because we live in a culture that is obsessed with bodily perfection. And that means that body dissatisfaction is seen as normal. And that makes it really difficult for women to recognize when they might need some support. But everyone has their limit when it comes to experiencing painful or difficult feelings. And this is going to vary from person to person. And ultimately, only you can decide when you've had enough and you need some support. But what I can say from experience is that there is nothing normal about living with a perception of your body that severely limits your life. And while it is possible to work on your body image alone, accessing support will move you towards a better relationship with your body much quicker so that you can stop limiting yourself and fully live your life. Now from clients, I have observed a few key signs that they need help with their body image. So I'm just gonna walk you through three of the main ones right now. So the first one is experiencing excessive negative thinking about your body. Now thoughts about your body may take up a large proportion of your mental headspace. So typically amongst my clients, you know, it's like 70% plus of their time is spent thinking about how awful their body is, what other people will think about it, how their body compares to others, what they should or shouldn't be eating, and how much exercise they need to do. And these thoughts can consume so much of your mental capacity that there really isn't much left to focus on things like your partner, your family, your career, your hobbies, or your social life. And all this mental activity is absolutely exhausting. It can leave you feeling tired, depleted, and depressed. So that's the first sign that you might need a little bit of help with your body image. The second one is experiencing relationship issues. Because having a negative perception of your body will have a knock-on impact on your relationships. So if you have a partner, there may be some intimacy issues. You may struggle to let your partner see you naked, or maybe you don't enjoy intimacy because you are conscious of your body. And if your partner tells you that you're attractive or sexy, maybe that you don't believe them. And all of this can put a real strain on your relationship. And there can also be tensions that show up with family and friends. So for example, I have clients who fear being around their family and some of their friends because of what they will think of their body. So that's the second sign that you might need some help with your body image, relationship issues. And the final sign that I wanted to share with you today is avoiding certain situations. And it always gets to me when a woman says that she loves going on a holiday or swimming, but she won't do it because the fear of being judged in her swimwear is just too great. Now, this is the biggest tragedy of negative body image, avoiding things that you love to do and essentially putting your life on hold. And so clients tell me that the sorts of things they avoid might be taking their kids swimming, going on dates if they don't have a partner, taking a holiday, being able to sustain a long-term relationship, exercising or enjoying exercising, wearing clothes that they like because they just don't feel they have the right body for whatever it is they would like to wear, going paddle boarding even though they live right by the sea, social occasions, being intimate with their partner and many, many other things. Now, avoiding things that you love is not normal or healthy. Holding yourself back is not really living. 
And the biggest benefit of healing the relationship with your body is being able to focus on fully living your life and getting back to all of those activities that you love. So I have to ask you, do you recognize any of these signs that you need help with your body image? Even if it is only one or two that apply to you, I'm guessing that life sometimes feels a bit difficult, maybe a bit heavy or perhaps unfulfilling. And recognizing that you need help with your body image is the first step that you need to take on your body confidence journey. Now, accessing support will help you to get back your time, energy, and very importantly, your headspace to focus on the things that matter most to you, like your family, your career, and your social life. And if you think that you do need some help with your body image, and you're ready to start that journey, I'd love to support you. So as a first step, I would recommend that you book one of my body confidence breakthrough sessions. And in those sessions, we explore where you're at with your body image, perhaps what's holding you back, and what support you need, and if my coaching program, the body confidence journey, might be the next best step for you. So you can book a session with me by following the link below wherever you are listening to this. So that is all I've got for you for this episode of Body Confident Friday. Thank you for listening, and I hope to catch you next time.